and welcome to kick in the pants Monday this is the video series that is taking over tough love Tuesday and as always I will give you a very brief disclaimer that if you're feeling a little sensitive today then peruse other videos there are plenty of offerings ranging from nutrition and training to fun Friday videos things like that so um, you know if, if you're not quite feeling like you need a kick in the pants today then come back to this when you do it doesn't have to be a Monday uh, but if you do then buckle in because we're going to tackle a tough subject for some people so um, what I wanted to talk to you about today is a very simple subject and something that we all fall fault to at some point in our lives or other particularly I find it's particularly bad when we're trying to lose weight. Weight loss is more mental and emotional than physical, and if anybody tries to tell you different, they're crazy and they've never had to do it. So I will say that again, weight loss is more mental and emotional than it is physical. If we can get the mental and emotional right, then the physical part actually happens a little easier, or a lot easier, actually. Um, than it normally would however we kind of do that backwards and we always start over here on the physical and we're just gonna you know starve ourselves beat ourselves whatever and we're gonna you know beat the weight off of the stick um, and if you've been following any of my blogs or better yet if you're getting ready to follow the new program you will get all the education that you need to help you realize how the food industry the diet industry all of that has actually set you up for failure and um, and how to beat that so Moving on though, one of the things that we tend to deal with in a negative way a lot is affirmation. So let's just, you know, what is affirmation? Affirmation is that pat on the back. It's the, you know, you're doing a good job, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this in and of itself is not a bad thing, okay? It's, it's not. If, if I lose five pounds, I want somebody to tell me that it's a good job. Um, if I, if I have five pounds to lose. No, now, if you don't have five pounds to lose and you're losing it, that's not so great. Um, you know, or if I hit my marks on my workouts all week long, then, you know, you want somebody to go, hey, great job, you're doing awesome. If you get all your water in, because that tends to be a huge one for people, you want somebody to tell you that it's a good job. But here's where we tend to have a lot of problems. What, what I've noticed, and I did it, all the time back when I was trying to lose my hundred plus pounds um, we look for affirmation that the little bit that we're doing is enough and we want affirmation that doesn't challenge us to go a little further so before you shut me down because you're like whatever uh, <laughs> Hear me out because I promise it's going to, if, if you if you suffer from this and you are able to change it, it's going to open up a whole new world of success for you. So let me explain. And, I, and I'm going to explain it to you from the viewpoint of a professional because sometimes when we can get a look into that, we can go, oh, I totally see now. But from the viewpoint of a professional, especially a nutritionist, and I tell everybody that my nutrition degree was probably the most expensive I ever had and the one that is the least appreciated of any of the ones I have. Um, I can always get people to move, always. It's food, that's a big issue. And a lot of that I blame on uh, the media, on you know fads and, and all of that. So um, we'll get to that at some other point. But here's the deal, I have people all the time who send me emails, Facebook messages, you know, they'll catch me at church. And I, I can't, I never rest anywhere I go. They'll catch me in the grocery store or anywhere. And they're just like, okay, so can you tell me how to lose? I'm struggling losing these 10 pounds. Or I've lost 20 pounds and I've hit a wall. What do I do? Or uh, what do you eat? What should I eat? What, you know, and my answer is pretty much always the same. I'm like, I can't really tell you what to eat because your body and my body are two different things. I don't like doing that. I don't like going, don't eat white foods, don't eat bread, don't, you know. I don't do that because it has been proven time and time again to not work. However, here's the deal. A lot of times, and they'll ask, you know, they're like, You're, I want to know. I need an expert's opinion. And, um, and you know, you know the people that do it. People throw it up on Facebook. Oh my goodness. Have you ever scrolled through Facebook on all of your friends and you hear them go, I need an opinion on this. 
when I see that, personally, I keep scrolling because I know that's my red flag that they do not want my professional opinion whatsoever. They want a friend who will come along and pat their back and go, everything you're doing is just enough. Honey, if you can't lose weight, that's genetics. Um, so here's the deal. If you are really looking to make a serious change, it is going to require some discomfort in some way. We are going to have to get uncomfortable with, honestly, if you want to change fast, you're going to need to get uncomfortable with your food, seriously. Um, if you want to change at a moderate pace, you need to get uncomfortable with your food and some of your workouts. If you want to change at a very slow, like a tortoise pace, then um, just get uncomfortable with your workouts and allow yourself to be super comfortable with your food. You have to learn that you have to embrace that uncomfortable thing. And you have to embrace when you ask a professional, and that's, that's another one of my pet peeves, don't ask your friends that don't have nutrition degrees that have absolutely nothing, nothing in, you know, nutrition or fitness. And I understand it gets confusing in the world today. I understand that because we have all of these, you know, multi-level marketing things and all that just anybody, anybody, yeah, you want to sell some supplements? You come on in here, sell some supplements. And these people don't have a clue as to what these supplements do. They have no idea, you know, the risk that they're running if people take too many, things like that. Um, so that is a totally different video. Anyways, <laughs> so it gets confusing because we will put up, I mean, it's a, it's a basic thing. It's a thing you put on Facebook. You go, dude, I need to lose 10 pounds in like three, three weeks. Who can help me? And all of a sudden, everybody and their dog knows everything that there is to know about nutrition. They're like, well. Let me tell you what I read on Dr. Oz's website. Let me tell you what I heard on The Biggest Loser. Let me, and they don't preface it with that usually. They, they don't do that because then it makes them sound smarter if they actually do it. So my challenge to you is this. Ask for an actual professional opinion. Flat out. You can even be like, dude, if you can't back it up with some kind of certification or degree, I don't want to know. And then here would be the second step. Do it. Do what they say. Try it just for a week. Try it for a week to 10 days and see what happens. Um, I cannot tell you the amount of people who stop me in the grocery store. They will ask me weight loss questions. I will give them maybe one or two things to do. Two months later, they stop me in the grocery store. They ask me weight loss questions. I tell them the same thing because nothing has changed and they're like well nothing's changed for me did you do what I tell you to do well you, well okay see um what, what what you see you see what happened was uh, <laughs> it doesn't fly it doesn't fly learn from people who know and it doesn't have to be me and if you don't want you know I, I never ever like if I see something on Facebook or something like that like I said most of the time I will just scroll past it I never force my opinion on anybody. As a matter of fact, if you want it, you have to ask me for it personally. So, um, you know, that needs to be an email, um, a text message. I love text messages. I, I don't dig phone calls, really. Um, <laughs> emails are actually my second but it's Text messages are the best. Uh, and then, you know, in person, if you see me and I'm not <laughs> spending time with my family. Um, but, you know... Figure, figure out how you're going to approach that subject and then make up your mind. Either you are A, just looking for affirmation that what you're doing is enough. And, you know, if it's people that aren't in this business that haven't, or, you know, people that haven't, if you've got 100 pounds to lose, who better to ask than somebody who's lost 100 pounds? Don't take advice from your friend who's lost and gained back the same 10 pounds 25 times. Okay, don't take their advice. Ask the person who's done it. That's how you get there. Um, you know, get their advice. Don't, don't baby yourself with it. And that way you make the changes because 
to make the transformation, a change has to be made. Obviously, there's behaviors. There's all kinds of things that have happened that have caused this to happen. And we start to undo those and unravel the knots. And then we start to make small changes and boom, then you got it. Um, so, you know, look to your friends to give you a pat on the back when you need it. But don't look to them for your professional advice. Don't. I mean, it's just, it's not going to work out well for you. So keep that in mind. That is my kick in the pants for you today. As you can tell, I get a little hot under my not quite so there collar um, about this kind of thing. Because in truth, in reality, a lot of people in our lives hold us back from our true potential. Because A, they have no clue. B, they aren't getting there. So why would they give you help to get there? Because, you know, back to A. Um, and C, you know, they don't want to hurt your feelings a lot of times, so they don't want to say anything that would cause any ruffling of the feathers. Whereas if you're dealing with a true professional, they will present it to you in a way that is not, you know, they, they can't, nobody in this life can hurt your feelings without you allowing it. But you just, you know, sometimes you need somebody who will stand up and go, what you're doing isn't working and this is what you need to change. So that's my goal to you. Um, this weekend, think about it. Go back through. Social media is phenomenal for that. Go to your own pages and look and see what you, what have you been asking? What have you been doing? Are you crying out for affirmation? Are you genu genuinely wanting help? Figure out what you need and go get it. Until I see you next time, have a healthy day.